It's your weekly blitz with Chris, keeping you in the game. Hey, good morning, everyone. Coach Chris Cotton here from AutoFix Auto Shop Coaching, where I work hard to support your auto repair shop success. As you get into today's episode, you may know someone in your network who can benefit from today's topic. Please take time to share personally or through your social network. If you have an idea for a show topic or just want to talk, feel free to get with me at chris at autofixsos.com. Let's get started with episode 81, employee training, where are you headed next? As I'm recording this, Kimberly and I are getting ready um, actually tomorrow morning to head out to facilitate some peer group meetings. Then we're um, headed south to North Carolina for ASTE. Then we're going to be home for a week or so and then finish up the year heading to Vegas for Apex and SEMA. I say all of that to say this, where are you headed next for training yourself? Um, Where are you taking your employees or sending them next for training? Have you thought about what training you're going to do in 2023? (laughs) That's right. I said 2023. This year's almost wasted. Not wasted. Sorry. That's the wrong choice of words. But this year's almost over. You know what? If you've never, ever been to any of the trainings around the country, I'm challenging you to make 2023 your first time. I don't care which one you pick. There are great ones starting in February all across the country. If you don't know, shoot me an email and I can tell you probably one off the top of my my head near you to go to or one to check out. Again, I don't care which one you pick. There's some great ones out there. I hope to see you at some of them. If you do and you see me there, please come up and introduce yourself and let me know at your first conference, training session, et cetera. I'd love to know that. Um, If you need somebody to show you the ropes, um, I'll show you the ropes or I'll put you with somebody that can. All right. Along this thought process, I wanted to say this. I don't know what other people are experiencing right now, but this is what I'm experiencing in my coaching practice. I've never seen the likes of so many employees that currently say they don't have time for training and or don't see the benefit in it and just flat out refuse it. Sadly, I think it's because some of you have been so stressed for employees, you stopped asking for certifications and or stopped telling potential employees that it was mandatory and part of their career path moving forward. So shame on you. You have to create the culture in your company. And if you have a current culture of, nope, not doing any training, then you have to figure out a way to turn that, twist that around. In case you didn't know, or maybe you want to share this with the leadership in your shops, I'm going to remind slash give you some reasons why outside training for your employees is fundamental to the success of your business, okay? Number one is employee retention. Retention is a major challenge for employers. Like if you're hiring people and then losing them, oh my gosh, like it's hard enough getting people now. We can't let retention be an issue. But Retaining strong workers can be achieved through career development. Um, In fact, training and development has become so centralized within businesses that for great businesses, great shops, it's often used as a competitive advantage when hiring. If you throw it in the right vein and talk about it the right way. Offering career development initiatives helps employees establish a sense of value within the company. And it fosters loyalty, ultimately resulting in increased staff retention. And from what I've been able to read and the numbers I've gotten, um, a 59% lower staff turnover rate. When I help do exit interviews, in the top two is always, I don't know what my future holds slash there was no career path for me. Like when you bring people on and onboard them and put them with their mentor, you need to have a checklist. Okay, these are the things you need to be doing. And then these are the trainings that we plan on going to. You can even use training to recruitment. I have a lot of clients that shut down for an entire week and take their whole staff to training around the country. And they spend that time bonding, um, creating a better culture for the shop. And they also spend time obviously learning and growing. But what if you were able to tell a future technician or a young apprentice, hey, you're going to be required to do an hour of training a week. Every quarter, you're going to be expected to go to this class or that class. And then once a year, we close down and we all go to North Carolina for a week or we all go to wherever STX is for a week or we all go to Vision every year for a week for training. I think that would give you a leg up. At least it shows that you care and you're you're trying, right? AutoLeap is a cloud-based all-in-one auto repair software that helps to keep complete track of your business from scheduling appointments to managing technicians to generating invoices. Supercharge your growth with AutoLeap. 
Customers that fully adopt AutoLeap see the following benefits in their first year. 30% revenue growth, with top customers seeing over 100% growth, 75% decrease in no-shows, allowing you to service more customers, three times increase in positive Google reviews, leading to stronger online presence, 50% time saved on administrative tasks, driving increase in operational efficiency. Do it all with AutoLeap. Key features and functions include estimates, invoices, scheduling, Google reviews, inspections, communication, QuickBooks, reporting. Get in touch with AutoLeap to see how you can transform your auto repair shop. For a limited time, if you schedule a demo, sign up with AutoLeap and they will waive the $250 implementation fee. Number two, it helps develop future leaders. In podcast number 79, Ducks versus Eagles. If you're working on employee training and leadership, you need to be able to identify ducks from eagles and you need to let your eagles get leadership training. Um, You need to be targeting employees with the skills for future leadership. You know, that can be vital in establishing a business for growth and evolution. Leadership talent can be either acquired through new hires or current employees. And always, if you can develop it within, then great. But if not, if you have a, a shop full of ducks and you need some eagles, and sometimes you have to go out and hire them. Having professional development programs ensures an organization is focused on future business and business goals by preparing promotable talent. Um, number three, it empowers employees. Employees who feel empowered within the workplace will be more effective at influencing employees and gaining their trust. Consequently, those employees will feel a greater sense of autonomy, value, and confidence within their work. Um, If you look at employee autonomy and what a definition for that is, the definition is the extent to which an employee feels independent and can make their own decisions about the work they do. Number four, it boosts workplace engagement. Finding ways to have consistent engagement of employees can diminish boredom in the workplace, right? Um, If you just let people be bored, it can create feelings of dissatisfaction and negative, negative working habits. Um, Regular training and development initiatives can prevent workplace idleness and in turn will help businesses establish regular reevaluation of their employees, also their skills and processes. This will have a positive influence on company culture and how that's created by instilling an emphasis on planning and training and gives your employees an insight into what what the future holds for them. Remember in number one where we're talking about why people leave. They just come in, they just change oil every day. Those people burn out after a year because they never moved up the ladder. Now, granted, some people will never want to move up the ladder, and that's fine as long as we've we've had that. But that's like 20% of the people's in that position. 80% of the people that you bring as an, in as apprentices want to move up. That's the whole point, right? Um, number five. It builds workplace relationships, you know, finally um, providing opportunities for employees to explore new topics, refine their skills and expand their knowledge can help your team members bond with each other. During those training and development sessions, they tackle new challenges together. They can also lean on one another for various learning opportunities. You can also have them collaborate with colleagues who have specific areas of expertise that they seek. Research has shown that peer collaboration is actually their preferred method of learning. Learning from each other's strengths not only leads to a more well-rounded workforce, but those bonds can also improve retention and engagement. But again, it starts at the top. So once again, I ask you, where are you headed next? This has been Coach Chris Cotton from AutoFix Auto Shop Coaching. If you find yourself struggling in your auto repair business or have a feeling like you don't know what you don't know, but you're eager to learn and grow your business, then please feel free to reach out to me, chris at autofixsos.com, or give me a call at 940-400-1008. Time to rise and grind, everybody. Have a great day. You've been listening to The Weekly Blitz with Coach Chris Cotton on the aftermarketradionetwork.com. Follow Chris on your favorite podcast listening app. Let him know what you'd like him to cover. His email is in the show notes. Chris is all for advancing the aftermarkets.